He's the former number one overall pick back in 2018. Heisman Trophy winner at Oklahoma. He's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback. He is Baker Mayfield, who joins us on the program. Hello, everybody. Hey, guys. Good? Oh, what's good? up? How are you? Kind of scrolled onto the set. You don't need headphones there. I don't need them. No, you don't. You're, you're loud enough. I don't want you yeah. to mess up your hair. I worked really hard on this. Thank yeah. you. Do you work on your hair before a game? No. You never did put product in your hair so you look good in warm ups? No. Even it's, at Oklahoma? No, just the eye black and just rub it on and go. All right. Yeah. You look good. I think I appreciate it. Uh, I mentioned your Tampa Bay Buccaneers quarterback. Is that how you are still to be introduced as the <laughs> Buccaneers quarterback? That's to be determined. Yeah, we'll see. Who's determining that? Um, I think the ball's in their court right now. I mean, it's, I mean I've been vocal about the mutual interest, uh, and that's. I was very appreciative of the opportunity I had there and just how they run the organization, everything that they're all about, just how do we win, how do we put our guys in the best position possible to win, and um, I've been vocal about that. And that's going into free agency, my mindset would be the same thing, looking for something similar to that, and obviously seeing them firsthand, um, you know, I know how they operate. Why did it work so well? You know what, a lot of, I don't know why everybody thought that Tampa wasn't going to be very good because obviously, yeah, Tom is Tom, great quarterback, obviously, but a, a lot of pieces that were there for those deep playoff runs are still there, still intact, um, and so it's a great locker room. The culture's great. Those guys know how to win. They've been there before, and so, you know, we, we started out pretty good, then had a rough lull in the mid, mid-year, um, but guys stuck together. The guys didn't flinch. They, they, they know how to react when adversity hits, and so they just handled it. We, we came together even closer, and, and offensively, we just decided to iron out the little details, stop uh, shooting ourselves in the foot, and go from there. Okay, but you're dealing with adversity, and you dealt with that from, you know, Cleveland and then a couple of stops, and then you yeah. end up there. Um, what happened from when you got to Cleveland to where you are right now as far as, <laughs> like, well, can you sum it up? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. Not exactly. Like, do you understand, like, why things happened? And- oh, uh, I mean, I, I'm a firm believer everything happens for a reason. But it, it's, you know, it, for me, it was, it was going back to the year I hurt my shoulder. And um, it, it was all stemming from that, I, I think. But, I mean, I, I'm happy with where I'm at in life and uh, was just finishing up with Tampa as well. How much is it maturing? I don't want to say growing up, but understanding everything, the yeah. business side of this. Um, there's definitely uh, a lot of understanding. Uh, I learned a lot throughout the years, all the ups and downs, trying to take away uh, you know, lessons throughout, throughout the whole process. But um, yeah, it, but still finding a way to be myself through that all and not not trying to change or waver for anybody else or, or mold into somebody I'm not and, and learning, that's that's okay. That, that's why I got drafted to the position I was, uh, to be the best version of myself. That's um, And that's what Tampa allowed me to do. And uh, Coach Bowles said that. He's, we just we want you to be you, and that's it. And so just don't, don't, don't fake it and be authentic and uh, embrace that. But also at that position, it feels like what separates a lot of quarterbacks is confidence yeah like you got to get in the huddle you got to believe they got to believe in you i don't know if your confidence if it how could it not waver from what happened to you know in between where you got to tampa i mean there there were moments that um did you doubt yourself a little bit but i was more frustrated than anything um just frustrated you know with, with some of the situations that i was in um and but then after a, a, a lot of OC changes and all that, I realized, all right, control what you can, and, and that's the relationships in the locker room, um, busting my ass, you know, getting to know the guys, getting to know the playbook, and, and learning those people and realizing that at the end of the day, if I can, you know, hold my head up and be proud of how I handled those relationships and those people, that that's going to be okay. And so, yeah, there, there was times that uh, confidence was up and down, but um, I knew I just needed one chance in a good situation. It's nice to have Mike Evans. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's it one. I, like that's a nice luxury to have now you know what johnny manzel had at texas a&m like all all else favors where's mike he's down there somewhere hall of famer he's so good he really is and like you said chris godwin as well just so consistent both those guys obviously mike 10 years in a row over a thousand yards yeah and i don't know why i mean he turned 30 
before the season, and everybody thought, oh, he's going to fall off. No. Uh, I think statistically he had one of his top three years or, or so. But Is he going to be back? I hope so. If I'm back, I hope so. Are you sharing some of your money with him? If uh... Oh, it, it, I think there would be some sacrifices along the <laughs> you way. You would be willing <laughs> there's, to. There's <laughs> mutual benefits for us to come back together. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have incentive? Are you going to have an incentive-laden contract? Um, that's a good question for my agent. He's around here somewhere. <laughs> looking, into these, looking into these lights. But like making a Pro Bowl, uh, you know, may, winning the division. Oh, I hope making a Pro Bowl is not in there because I don't know how that system works. Doesn't everybody make the Pro Bowl? I, I mean, I wasn't supposed to be there, and somehow I won MVP. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get for that? I have no idea. Did you get a trophy? I got a, yeah, a, a small little trophy. It's nice. It's nice. I put it next to the Nickelodeon trophy. <laughs> okay. But not next to the Heisman trophy. No, no. Where is the Heisman Trophy? Why do you want to know? I don't know. No, it's 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 at our off-season house, so it's it's sitting locked up. Okay, so it's not when I walk in. No, I don't. Oh see gosh, it. no, no. Do you have anything that would signify what you do for a living if I walk into your house? Besides pictures, no. But like your jersey's not there as soon as I walk in. Oh no. Okay. No. Like your bedroom, there's no jersey there in your bedroom. No, the, the off-season's house, for, it's for relaxing, not you know looking at football every single day. But the regular season house, you might have that stuff to look at. There's like, a, you know, there's some, <laughs> some massage tables, some workout equipment. You might see that, all right, we live a somewhat of an athletic fitness style lifestyle. Okay, you know? all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how many jerseys do you have? Are you a jersey swapper? Oh, gosh. I've swapped quite a few. Um... I probably have about 20. Who would, did anybody say no? No, I, I get too nervous. Most of the time I, I wait until it's like somebody I know okay. a little bit. Um, you no, don't send the equipment guy over. Rejection is one of my bigger fears. <laughs> yeah. That would be humbling. Like if you say to Tom Brady, hey, I'd love to have uh, one of your jerseys. And then do you feel like obligated that, hey, I'd like to have your jersey. Do you want mine? Do you say that? Uh, no, no, you don't. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> Are you going to call me back? No. <laughs> Do you like me? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> did, you, did you get a Brady jersey? Uh, I don't have a Brady jersey, no. Do you have, well, who, who do you have that might surprise me? Um, my rookie year actually swapped jerseys with Julio Jones. Okay. And prime Julio, and he sent the jersey over or was about to send the jersey over, and then I think it was the game he passed the 10,000-yard mark. So he took that back and sent another one. <laughs> That's right. okay. Okay, and another one will suffice. Uh, if you were facing, you could choose one of these defenses to face that you would want to face. Who would you choose? I would like another shot at San Fran. Okay. What did you miss out on that, given a second go around, you would have taken advantage of? Um, taking some easy completions, I think... We were able to run the ball a tiny bit, but um, I think just some throws over the middle, and then uh, we were driving the ball pretty well, and I fumbled, and I, that's one of those plays that you always want to take back. And so, um, Why does the announcer always say when you throw an interception or quarterback fumbles, boy, you'd like to have that back? I can't imagine a situation where you throw an interception. You wouldn't double down and do it again? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Old strategy. Yeah. 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 So San Francisco, that defense. I, and I say that just because we, we played them, and I would, you know, personally like to play them again. But um, I think they both present their own issues. And so, obviously, Spagnola calls a great game for those guys. A lot of those guys have played with each other for a long time. So, um, and Chris Jones is, is a monster up front. Well, everybody keeps bringing up Spags. Like, what is it when you get to the line of scrimmage? What happens that changes? I mean, he, he presents some looks. And here's the thing. Those guys, he wouldn't be able to do it unless those guys really understood the scheme and what he's trying to get accomplished. And so whether they're able to disguise the blitz, um, McDuffie's an unbelievable blitzer from the nickel position. So the way he's able to make certain looks and coverages look the same as when he's blitzing, um, it, it just it gets those guys off guard. And uh, he just does a good job of understanding team's tendencies and how he's going to call the third down packages and how he's going to set up some of the early rundown blitzes. And so I just think he does a great job. Were you ever labeled a game manager? Probably at some point. Yeah. You probably said that, didn't you, Dan? I don't think so. <laughs> Not at Oklahoma. Okay. I didn't right. say that. All right. 
uh, gunslinger, maybe, is what I said. But that, okay, would you rather be a gunslinger or a game manager? Is there something in the middle? Um, we can create take, something. Yeah. Like a game slinger? A game you know? slinger. Yeah, like I... That you, sounds like it's <laughs> working the corner or something. <laughs> it sounds like I'm selling. Oh, well... A game slinger. I, I'll take gunslinger. I'll take gunslinger. You're take yeah. gunslinger. Yeah. But that, that was... Like, Mahomes was a gunslinger at Texas Tech. Yeah. He was yeah. labeled that way. Yeah. And that, I think, scared people. And... But he still manages a game. Like, you have to manage a game. Yeah, and that's, that's what I was telling people yesterday when they talk about Brock. I'm like, just because he's executing the offense exactly how he's being asked. I, I mean, you can call it game managing, but it's doing it at an extremely high level. So, and I don't know. It's Gunslingers, I feel like, has the, the label puts you as the risky throw. Like Favre. Interception, yeah. Favre was a gunslinger. Yeah. yeah. I've had a couple seasons where I was a gunslinger. You were. Yeah. You proud of those? 21 interceptions in 2019. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not real proud of that. Yeah. How did, man, when you throw it, like that feeling when it's picked off, does it change? No. How bad it like feels? No, it Describe never does. Describe that feeling when you throw it and it probably in slow motion and the guy's ready to come in and get it. It's, it's like honestly, old it's unlike It's unlike anything else. It's, it's like a, a punch to the gut. Yeah. And somebody steals your dog at the same time. Wow. Yeah. Your dog. Yeah. Sorry to bring you down. Here. Yeah. <laughs>